Hi, I'm Mark Gilbert. We're at the Sun headquarters and I'm with the world's most exciting magician, Dynamo. How are you doing? Nice to meet Hi. you finally. Hello everyone. Taking one look at your Twitter feed at the moment, you've been on your travels quite a bit. Just tell us about what you've been up to recently. I was out in um, Paris. That was quite cool. I got to go to the, um, the trial, you know, the Arc big Arc de Triomphe. Yeah. Um, it's quite a spectacle right there. I've got to do some magic with that at some point. I went to Scotland um, to the university, Strathclyde University, and it was mental. I got asked to sign somebody's forehead. <laughs> yeah, that was quite nuts. And some girls turned up at the airport to meet me which was, you know, quite, quite sweet but also quite strange because I don't really know how they knew what flight I was on. Maybe they're magic in their own right. Who knows, eh? And we found out today that you've just been nominated for a National TV Award. Yeah. How do you feel? Um, it's quite amazing, really. Um, you know, of all the TV shows that are on television for Magician Impossible to be up for nomination, you know, it's, you know, and really, I can't really do it without any of you guys, so thanks to everyone who's watched the show, people who watch this video, people who go on to the National TV Awards website and vote for Magician Impossible, that would be awesome if you could do that, because it is a People's Choice Award, so hopefully, you know, the people will back Dynamo. And the Prince's Trust helped you out massively, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they gave me a Prince's Trust startup loan. Um, now, it's quite strange, I nearly didn't actually go for the Prince's Trust thing, and it nearly never came about. I got Crohn's disease, I ended up in hospital for about six months, and whilst I was there, you know, it kind of put a spanner in the works of what I wanted to do with my career. But in that time, you know, I made a business plan for the Princess Trust. And when I got out, I approached them and they gave me the loan and the rest, as they say, is history. Now, you've been performing for 10 years, but you've only really come to mainstream prominence. I would probably say the last couple of years, you've, you've met the likes yeah. of Jay-Z, Cole, played the Foo Fighters and a lot of uh, Barclays Premier League footballers. How are you dealing with the, uh, you know, your newfound fame? I suppose you've got to take each day in its stride, really. You know, um, getting to hang out with some of the Barclays Premier League players has been pretty cool. I've scared Rio Ferdinand a few too many times. He's, he's always a good sport. I think the Fulham team, you know, I went down to visit them guys. And um, Bobby Tamara, you know, he got a bit freaked out. And they're even writing in the papers that it's all my fault that he's not playing and not scoring goals. You know, you can't blame Dynamo for that. Come on. Yeah, I suppose getting to meet all these people is quite an honour, really. I remember when I first started to come to London about six years ago, and um, you know, I'd get to meet some like you know people like Dizzy Rascal when he was just kind of coming up, and um, it was like I was like so starry eyed. And now I think you know over the years I've just kind of that I try and treat people the way I want to be treated myself. So when I approach these people, I think because I act that way and because I'm just quite genuine, they just treat me in the same way. We mentioned Rio Ferdinand earlier. He's just one of many footballers you've met. But you're a Bradford City fan. Before they were in the Premiership, I had a Bradford City bedroom. I know I shouldn't really admit that, but it was you know. Two claret walls and two amber walls, I and mean, then in the across the you know the border was a Bradford City border, and they had claret and amber bed sheets. Yeah, the claret and amber bed sheets didn't really help too much with the women back in the day, but you know I was young, and um, hopefully you know they got here on me because I like Bradford City. So is football your main sport that you follow? I'd probably say it's either football or boxing. Yeah, they're my two favourite spots. Who's your favourite boxer? We had Amir Khan in last week. Watching Floyd Mayweather, he's awesome. I'm really good friends with David here. You know, Amir Khan is awesome. My favourite boxer ever though, who is actually a friend now, which is, you know, I love to be able to say that, is Prince Nazim. You know, possibly the most exciting and entertaining boxer this country, if not the world, has ever produced. Nazim did us proud. Showmanship as well. Showmanship, it's, it's everything. Package, you know, and, and just like, you can't deny his skill, regardless of all the bravado. He was a phenomenal boxer. Now you're working with the Barclays Premier League. Can you just explain a little bit more about that relationship and what you're doing and how it came about? So, obviously being a football fan myself, you know, Barclays Premier League came down, came to me and asked me, you know, about going to do some magic with footballers, which you know sounded pretty cool. So we basically made four virals for adverts where I go to like to the likes of Fulham, to Tottenham, to Manchester United. You know, and also to the streets of like the top cities like Birmingham, London. You know, we kind of go all across the country, um, meeting fans and players, and doing amazing things. Like the, the one of the main things in the first commercial was where I went up to people in the street, asked them what team they supported, took some Barclays ATM receipts, shook them and changed them to match tickets for the team they wanted, and gave them out. You know, and I think that is kind of what the main thing about the campaign is. You know, every 90 minutes, Barclays Premier League give away football tickets for whichever you know whichever team you support. And all you've got to do is get your ATM receipts, type in the code and it could be you. 
Also, I've been giving away some tickets on my Twitter, at Dynamo Magician. So if you follow me on there, you might be in chance of winning some match tickets. There's a sequence of four clips that Barclays are putting out on their YouTube channel. Yeah. The third one is going live later this week, and we'll be previewing that on The Sun. It involved Gary Neville. Yeah, oh, Gary Neville was cool. Yeah, I wasn't sure what it was going to be like, you know, before I met him. Um, but yeah, he was actually really cool. And, um, you know, obviously he's a legend as well in football, you know. You can tell he's about the football, playing the game, as opposed to, you know, the whole being a footballer lifestyle. It was a great sight to see of Gary Neville because he was genuinely stunned by the tricks that you've performed. Oh, but just, just finally, what would you say so far has been the greatest trick that you've, you've done? Possibly the greatest thing that people might have seen me do is walk across the River Thames. It's one of the biggest things that's ever happened in this country in magic and, um, and I survived, I didn't die or anything. What's next on the agenda? Hopefully, I win a national TV award for best entertainment show, Magician Impossible, so please vote. And um, yeah, basically my next thing is just to try and get everyone to vote. But my DVD comes out 17th of October, Magician Impossible. But um, other than that, just follow me on Twitter and you'll see what I'm doing all the time. Dynamo, thank you very much for thank coming you. into the sun today.